uh, you know, I'm pretty sure people do know who you are, but like for people who don't know who you are, uh, who are you and uh, what do you do? Yeah, I'm Alan Ng. I'm the uh, editor-in-chief of Film Threat. I work with uh, Chris Gore, whom you had on the show a couple of weeks ago, like two months ago, maybe. And yes. uh, yeah, and so uh, Chris and I do a live stream three three days a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just talk about movies, independent films, and uh, and uh, the downfall of Hollywood, particularly the downfall of Disney. Nice. Uh, so yeah, um, the thing is, I, I what I I always like asking is like, how did you, like how how did you meet Gore? Like like how, how did that all happen? It, because it's. Uh, you, you you said that you've been there for quite some time now, and you're the editor in chief over there. So I like, yeah. how did you meet? Well, I, I would say we've. I mean, I've met Chris two times before I I met him. Um, we we had mutual friends, and uh, you know, but it really wasn't until um, you know I was uh, I had my own uh, what my a blog of movie reviews. Uh, you know, really no one no one was reading it. I, I'm pretty realistic about that, but. Um, you know, being a reviewer in LA, you get invited to certain things. I got invited to a Futurama event. Futurama had done a uh, a, uh, a mobile game, and uh, there was an event promoting the mobile game. Uh, they had the cast there and everything, and um, and that's where I met Chris, uh, a friend of mine who I went with. Uh, we we're kind of mutual friends, and so uh, Chris just I said, "Yeah, I review films." Gave him a link to my uh, my blog, and then uh, you know, I said, "Yeah, you want to review for us?" And then from there, just start reviewing. And then uh, around uh, December, when uh, Sundance came along, he goes, hey, we need someone to be in, in town running the website uh, while uh, like six people from Film Threat were at Sundance. And then I would just manage all the reviews uh, and, and get, the, get the site going and everything. So that's kind of how the, the ball started rolling. And just he just saw that I knew what I was doing. I knew my stuff. And uh, that's... It all just kind of grew from there. That's awesome. Yeah, it's um, yeah, getting to hang out with um, with both of you at uh, what's it called LA Comic Con, like here, hearing you guys talk. Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah, during the panels and um, and get, getting to see uh, like so many people had so many questions, especially like the indie, the the, the, the indie crew, which people were like mm -hmm. well, trying to start their own movies and stuff like that, and like Gore just like gave every everyone the. Um, that basically how the sauce is made. It's like if you want to, yeah, you want to have the the, the same, yeah. the same. Uh, what's it called? Like a uh, you know talent agent or manager or whatever as mm -hmm. Tom Tom Hanks. You can get that same thing, and like he will tell you exactly where um to find um all these websites. And I'm that's awesome. Like I I love what you guys are doing, and um, yeah. I, and the fact that uh it's you know uh you, you know we don't have a lot of Asian representation in terms of the movie <laughs> review area. So like, I'm glad that like we got some, but uh, pioneering the yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's been, that's been the story of my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm old enough to have been in industries where not a lot of us were. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but yeah, so um, uh, I, I'm, I have a, what's called a film threat pulled up right over here. And I, so you guys do a lot of indie reviews as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, this like, is an uh, indie film yeah. uh, from Cannes, uh, playing at Cannes right now. Con, so, can. Uh, it, so, how, is it Cannes or Cons? Yeah, uh, I don't know either. Actually, I think it's Cannes. <laughs> I think it's Cannes. Yeah. So, uh, I, I and the thing is, I was um I, I was on with uh the Salty Nerd podcast earlier today, and they were talking about I think Metropolis, Metropolis, yeah. and yeah. So um. Did, do, do you attend like the, this this film threat like attend the cans and they watch like the films over there and stuff like that yeah we do we uh we actually have someone there right now uh sabina and uh she's covering it for us it, it's kind of like you know as you can imagine we don't have a lot of money and so uh <laughs> it's kind of you know if you want to do you know if you want to cover a film festival and you're going to be in the area and you want to do it you know we'll we'll certainly be the platform for you to to get reviews and and put out Put out stories um yeah i went to south by southwest this past year which was amazing um we just recently uh gave, give it <laughs> gave up on sundance and, uh, <laughs> and slam dance is now uh you know gonna be in la instead of uh in in park city so oh that, that's very kind cool of festivals. south by southwest was that in texas it was yeah austin austin texas how was it's it how, how, how was it how was it there it was fun. It's my favorite uh, film festival. 
uh, it's got a good blend of uh, of um, indie films and the the big and big Hollywood films. Uh, like in one day, I saw uh, was it Sunset Sasquatch Sunset, Arcadian with Nick Cage, and then Monkey Man. Uh, that was that was one day. And the rest of the days, I was watching doc, uh, this documentary called Dickweed. Uh, about a, it's, a, it's a true life investigation of a guy who uh, is kidnapped and get his dick cut off, and uh, and the, uh, the DA and the investigators, you know, it's, they they walk us through the whole <laughs> whole thing, like because it's not just the guy got kidnapped and his dick cut off. It's it's who did it and why he did it, and then how he um, and and then uh, yeah, then when they finally caught him, how he escaped from prison. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds it sounds insane gray what, yeah would you watch something like that out of curiosity yeah because <laughs> of the insanity of of it all yeah the best part of it was it was it, the the incident took place in orange county and so oh. uh so when they're when they're going to the scene of the crime it's like oh i know where that is i know where that is and then they have the guy who got his dick cut off uh they're doing a um a one of those shadowy interviews where you only see that black outline of his face and then but but you look out the window and it's like oh i know what building he's in <laughs> oh it's so, so sort of like uh like deep throat with like watergate right <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was pretty amazing and then they had the you know they have a q a afterwards and the the investigator and the da was there and they were just like i i love them because they're just no nonsense you know they just hate criminals <laughs> and, and glad you know, they 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 were pretty salty in the ways that they they described them. That's awesome. Yeah, like like for me, uh, I think like film, like you have to. It's sort of like when when we when you invited me on to do versus when we did Kong and stuff like that, and I know yeah. that you uh, uh, Kong uh, Godzilla X Kong, and we, we know that like you're like this movie is awful. You're right. Like this this movie's trash. I don't I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know how it made so much money, but the thing is. Um, you have like even though you enjoyed it as a fun movie, you still have to review the movie as like if it was a good film versus yeah. a good you know a popcorn flick, right? So how do you separate yourself from that? Like, well, like, I mean, you really really enjoyed the movie, but it wasn't it was a it was a, a crappy film. Oh yeah, you just be honest about it. Uh, you know, the, the one of the things that I bring to the table, or at least my point of view when it comes to films, is, um, you know, you you if you got to figure out why things worked and why things didn't work. And that's kind of where I, my approach to films are, you know, there are reasons why uh, I didn't like a uh, Kong, uh, Kong versus Kong X, Godzilla, Godzilla, Kong X, whatever that one is. <laughs> um, there are reasons why, and it's just being able to articulate it in, in a way that makes sense and doesn't feel like you're just trashing on it for the sake of trashing on it. Yeah. Um, you know, I, the, the best comment I can get, especially for a negative review is, well, you're fair about it. You know, you know, mm -hmm. you went through the trouble of explaining why. Uh, and uh, that's, you know, that's that's the best I can do. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I think being honest, it's like, yes. It's like, oh, yeah, you have a point. Like, I like I remember me and like Kong Min and, I, and, uh, and a bunch of uh, uh, other people that were on uh, that was on that. Versus all the Asian, show. Yes. Yeah. All, all, yeah. Basically, it was, oh. it was an Asian one. And um, I, most of us liked it. But we understood like where where the where you came from, right? And where you and Chris came from, and, and uh, Robert Meyer Burnett as well. It's like yeah, we understood. It's like okay, why wasn't the film? Why didn't it like as film wise, it was bad, mm -hmm. and it doesn't make a lot of sense. And the thing is that you're, this is like, tail end of minus one. So you're like you're always going, mm -hmm. even though you're not gonna, you can't compare it. You're always gonna be comparing it in the back of your mind. Yeah. So it does make sense a lot. Yeah, yeah. minus one casts a large shadow, and it's hard to come out from yeah. under. And, and the other thing is like Barbie. Um, when Barbie came out and we all saw it, uh, we all hated it, uh, Dante, Chris, and I. And um, But it went on to make a billion dollars. So, you know, yeah. it, there's a recognition that some movies are just not meant for us. And Barbie was one of those movies. <laughs> now, the one that I do want to check out, like, so if you guys don't know already, um, it, um, the Film Threats website is pinned in the... In the com uh, in the comment section, and uh, we do have um you know Alan's like all his socials and stuff like that, whatever he has. Like go follow him, follow Film Threat, uh, follow uh, uh, he's a uh, my pal Al on uh, Twitter. But I do want to scroll down to check out this one right over here, Furiosa. And I know it's coming soon. I don't want to ask anything, but yes, basically, um, 
based off of what you what you, what you posted on X, it was you enjoyed it. It, so, it sounds like you enjoyed it. Uh, yes, it's a it's a very qualified enjoyed it. It's too damn long. Let's put it that way. Okay. Uh, okay. It is but yeah. long, but the action sequences are amazing. And uh, you know, I've I complain a lot about what what I call this this live action animation, starting starting with Fast and the Furious. Um, where you know, you're just seeing live action, you know, <laughs> cartoons basically, and um, yeah. Furiosa I think does a good job of uh, kind of making it feel, you know, blending it well. Although it it does feel like she's on a blue screen a lot in this one, uh, compared to Planet of the Apes, which felt very real. This one felt still very, uh, you know, very much like a cartoon. Um, I think uh, it'll surprise you the story. Uh, but at the same time, it's too damn long. And so uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think, I'll say this. If you liked Fury Road, you're going to like Furiosa. All right, cool. Great. Did, did you watch Fury Road? Not yet. You, you know, <laughs> I, I got a long list of movies to watch. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's, I, I'm that, that's my response to television. I, I, I don't have time to watch television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I, uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm, de I'm definitely looking forward to this one as well. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, your guys' reviews and um, see what you guys are going to be coming up with. But uh, yeah, um, I, I do want to say, um, from I'm pre pretty sure not just me, but everyone, D Files. Yes, you guys, amazing job, am am amazing. Okay. Um, like it, it was extremely intricate and detailed and i just want to you know i, I know it's, it's, it's a while ago but i want i want to say but from the bottom of our hearts thank you so much for like covering that it's it's freaking awesome oh yeah yeah that one just fell into our lap thanks for checking out this segment of the project egg row podcast if you like what we do here please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live we do go live every saturday at 8 p.m once again we are just getting started tons of more video to come Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.